Starting an SEO agency can be confusing. There's so much competition and so many niches and it could be very overwhelming. However, if you execute just a few simple steps this year, right now, you can be earning over a million dollars a year within the next six to 12 months. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Jordan Ross. I'm the founder of Eight Figure Agency. We're a growth consultancy and eight figure portfolio where we help agencies scale. And I have helped hundreds of SEO agencies make millions of dollars. And it's something that I know very, very well. And if you stick until the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could even use chat GPT to leverage ideas on how you could get more clients, which is very unique for where we're at right now in 2024, 2025. Now let's dive in. The first way that you could start to get clients is white label. Now, a lot of people don't want to do this, but it's something that you should really consider. And here's why. If you don't have a brand, you don't have much of a business and you don't really have many case studies, but you have the critical and technical expertise to actually deliver results, leveraging someone else's brand and their business to get your first set of clients to make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 K a month can be the recurring revenue you need to springboard off of. Now, if you are a genius SEO expert, there's only two types of businesses I want you to go after, and they are web development agencies and paid ad agencies. Now, this is really simple, but a lot of people can't even do this. And here's the exact steps you need to take. Number one, you need to build a list of 100 web development agencies and 100 paid ad agencies. You want to do this for a specific niche that you might feel like you can succeed in, either e-com or service-based businesses or more granular. Now, you can use a software like Make to build a custom list of the best type of of web dev agencies that don't offer any other services and they only offer web development. You want to go to these businesses and write a cold email or a cold DM. And the cold outreach is actually really simple. I will help you make an extra 30 K per month in recurring revenue and you don't have to do anything and make variations with chat GPT on how to do that. But when you reach out to a hundred or 200 or 300, they're going to be curious. And the proposal is I will get on a call. I will represent myself as your director of SEO. I will sell, I will account manage, I will fulfill, I will do everything that you need to make additional income, but all I need is an introduction. That's what white labeling is. If you are able to get on call with prospects that already have a web dev or paid ads agency, that's your pitch. The specifics of this are number one, when you actually get on call, your proposal is you'll take 70% of the income, they will get 30%. Now this 30% is a lot more rich for a referral because typically referrals pay out 10%, but if you're giving someone 30%, if they could help you build $100,000 a month, they can make 30K per month with nothing. Number two, once you actually get on a call with someone, your proposal also, like I said, it's to do everything. And the thing that you need to be aware of is once they're interested, you say, great, how about we test this for one or two clients so I can earn your trust and you could see that this actually works. Now, if you do that across 10 web dev agency owners who sign 10 clients a month, you're getting access to about a hundred clients a month. And that will be enough for you to build a very successful business. Once you actually get their consent, you need to get specific. You need to say, Hey, is there a very specific business you have in mind that you would be comfortable testing this out on? Because what oftentimes happens is I give this recommendation. People get on call. They can't actually get the ball moving. When you're actually on call, you need to be very specific. What business do you want to test this out on? What do I need to do for you to feel comfortable? to give this a go. What are the next steps? Let's book another call. That booking another call is critical. And then you need to stay on them. You need to stay on them until you actually can get them to sign up. Now, if you do this one thing, this could be your one thing that will earn you a million dollars a year, $2 million a year. You don't actually need to do anything else. I work with a business that has over 300 white label clients and that's their entire business model. So it's not popular because your margins will be less, but it could be the thing that gets you to your first 50K per month in profit. And then you could reinvest that money to build a business that you don't have to rely on other people. Number two is the influencer model. This is something super common and Today, I still get so many people reaching out to me, offering me free work, and you should do that. Now, here's a really specific example. If you find a niche that you feel like you have an amazing influencer, someone who is in a small pond, who's a dominant person in the space, you can go to that person and say, hey, I will start a SEO department under your brand. And it's the same proposal as white label, but you're only really doing it with one person. Now, an example of this is Dave, the laundromat millionaire. Dave runs a portfolio laundromats and he decided to start an SEO business and Dave decided to start a local ads 
business and local SEO business for laundromats. And because Dave runs a course and a program where they are signing a bunch of clients already, well, being able to get all that business for his clients is really simple because it's like, hey, you're paying for my program, sign up for my agency. And if you could find someone like that who is a massive influencer, who helps people in a specific niche, it could be chiropractors, it could be doctors, it could be lawyers, it could be a termite company, it could be local daycare, it could literally be anything. The more niche and the more granular, the better. The less competition, the better. If you could find something like Dave, Dave's the only laundromat influencer I think that exists. When you partner with someone like that, you're almost guaranteeing yourself success because you're just building a department underneath them. And that's actually how I built one of my own departments in my company. Someone came to me and said that they wanted to help agencies. And I was like, hey, why don't you just build this under me? Now, a second tier of this same piece of advice is you can go to an influencer and offer to crush it for them. Now, for my business, I have someone that came to me recently and said that he will run my paid ads on Twitter for free. Now, this person is already a proven rock star. He's already running a million dollar business business and he knows that I have at least 15 to 30 of the clients that he wants to sign. And if he delivers for me, I made an agreement with him. If you do good work for me, I will introduce you to everyone in my network. I'll run ads to promote your service in my newsletter. And that's a very quid pro quo relationship, but I'm very open for it because he's about to crush it for me and gonna make me a lot of money. So I'm incentivized to do that for him. So you could do this for someone like Dave, or you could run your service for someone like me and make a contract that when you succeed for them for doing free work, they will open up their network to you. Now, before I keep going forward, thank you for sticking up until this point in the video. If this is adding value to you, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment with feedback because I am here to help you grow your business. Now let's go on to tip number three. And this one is a little unique. You should be launching two brands. One brand should be agnostic and that's SEO for all businesses. And the other brand should be SEO for a super specific niche. And like I said before with the influencer, I don't want you to do SEO for like chiropractors. I want you to find something so granular that there's so little competition. SEO for daycare centers, SEO for pet stores, SEO for mobile home facilities, SEO for trampoline parks. The more granular you get, the better. And you want to find a niche that has online groups. So if there's Facebook groups, if there's LinkedIn groups, if there's Discord channels and in-person events, because I want you to become an expert in this space. And the one thing you're going to do every week is you're going to do a public forum, a public blog. They're going to post on LinkedIn, Twitter, and your website where it's a public feedback of someone's SEO campaign and how you would change their campaign or write their process or build their strategy and the exact steps you would build for that business over the next 12 weeks to six months. And this is amazing. If you join every daycare Facebook owners group and every time you do this, you post it in the group, eventually you're gonna get clients and you want to build a brand in a specific niche. So go to every single event, go down every podcast where they are talking about these things, pay to get on those podcasts. And my biggest encouragement for you when you're doing outreach is actually offer to do work for free. Say, hey, I'm looking at your website. I think I could write an amazing blog that can get you some traffic organically from Google. Would you like me to write this blog for you? And if they say yes, the simple tactic to actually get them on a call is great. I could write this agnostically or if you're going to call with me, I could write a better one that I could then backlink into you know, a certain publication. So like LA Times, New York Times, figure out if you're an SEO vendor, how to get into publications and say, hey, I will get you into this publication for free. That's an amazing tactic where you could write it on their blog or you could say, hey, I will publish you into this media outlet for free, but I just need you to get on a call with me. That's such an amazing tactic that is really only available for SEO and PR. Now, if you keep doing this and you do it for one niche and you do it agnostically and you use the tactic of offering free blogs or free publications into media outlets, you will eventually build a reputation and eventually build a million dollar business. But that is very long and you know, you might not be willing to do it, but there will be a few people that do. And the final idea is figuring out how to leverage ChatGPT to get people on call with you. Now, what you want to do for ChatGPT is ask questions for specific niches, figure out all the different questions. Now, this is the same concept as indexing on keywords and Google search, but because ChatGPT is new and some of these owners have no clue how ChatGPT works, you can write a screenshot of saying, hey, people are asking this question on ChatGPT. And if you could give them a number, that's great. You might not be able to find it. You could find it in Google and say, 
you're not in the top five. I will get you into the top five. And if you want, I could actually write you a blog for free on how I can actually do this. Now, what I actually love about ChatGPT, you could ask it where it got these results from and you could see it's, you know, it's pulling from Yelp, Google reviews, whatever. So if you know this stuff, you might be able to manipulate ChatGPT to reference specific websites when it's looking for things. If you are an expert at SEO, you can figure out how you can rank on ChatGPT. Now, the reason this is unique, it's like I said, people are just not sure how ChatGPT works. So it's a unique angle to slide into cold emails and to slide the DMs. And you could actually take a screenshot just like this and say, you're not here. You could build a really unique script that, you know, deletes something, puts a business in here, and you could Photoshop someone's business into here to say, I can get you in here. These are just four of many ways to start generating leads and generating business for your SEO business. And it might seem simple, but this is actually pretty hard. And here's the good news. I have a free school community where you can join myself and over 1400 other members at the time of this recording and get free value every week, webinars and training. So go to the link below and join my community where I will help you build a million dollar business. And like I said before, if this added value to you, make sure you click subscribe, share with a friend and come back for more. Thank you so much.